Hey guys, this is Jonathan with Dirty to Dreamy Hair. We've got uh, one of them fun cars with all that pet hair. Give them a little pan around and tell them what we're dealing with today. Check oh. it out. I love dogs, but I hate them at the same time. And I'm sure you do too. But I'm going to show you some tricks to make you love them again. Check it out. So, we got quite a bit of hair, and this is that thin hair carpet, so it's a pain in the butt. Your typical ways of removing this are not going to work. So we've got a couple different ways you can do this. I've purchased some special gloves, which we keep on hand. These are those grippy gloves. So this is your first and least aggressive way. We want to remember, if we get super aggressive with this thin hair carpet, it's going to fuzz up and it's going to be ruined. So we want to try to be as, as little aggressive as possible. So. We'll start with these, so check it out. Quite literally, just drag your hand across it. And it's got to be the grippy gloves. Rubber gloves will work, but not nearly as well. Look at that, just look at it. So that's one, one way to do it, that's the easier way, but that's not going to fine tune, it's not going to get all of the, the hair out. So we've got a few other options here. You've got the rubber brush, which again, we want to go least aggressive because we're trying not to damage this as best as possible. The easiest way would be not get pet hair in it, but <laughs> us dog lovers. We do what we do. So that gets a good majority of it out, but you can see there's still little tiny pieces left here and there that, I mean, honestly, unless you grab tweezers, it's gonna be a pain in the butt. That's where this doohickey comes in. This is a pumice stone, and the pumice stone is gonna get that finer stuff. Now, if we use the pumice stone throughout, from the beginning of the process to the end of the process, this thing's gonna look like a frayed cat when we're done. So that's not gonna work. We want to use the pumice stone last just to fine tune and get the, the minor stuff. So again, we're going to start with our gloves, then our brush, and then our pumice stone. And this is again trying to minimize the damage we're going to cause to this thin hair carpet. So I hope this helped you guys out. I've got a long job ahead of me, so i got to get going. Have a blessed day.